Hi, it's our pie and welcome back to One Shot. We have what looks to be Nico's sibling, parent, or mother. I think it's mother. Let's continue. Oh, what the hell? Uh, our pie? I had another dream. Mama was there. Did you see her? Yeah. She she made me pancakes. I I think it was my birthday. Cause people always get their favorite food on their birthday. A whole lot of it. Do you have a birthday too? Yeah. Oh. Then what's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? What wait, do you like pancakes? Yes I do. Me too. On my last birthday, I ate ten of them. I was so full I didn't eat anything else that day. Mama makes the best pancakes. And some of the neighbors uh, make really good noodles. Oh, and oh, uh, one of our neighbors make... One of our neighbors make a lot of bread. One of our neighbors make a lot of bread. Makes a lot of bread. Do you have any neighbors? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. No, I don't, because I live in the woods. Oh. That sounds a bit lonely. Yeah, you don't know the half of it, brother. Our neighbors and uh, and my mom and my mama take turns making uh, food for the whole village each day. Everyone also takes turns during chores and watching the little kids. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I've been gone for a while now, haven't I? I wonder if they're worried about me. No, they're not worried about you. No, your, your mother of all people definitely not. Of course they're worried about you. Uh, speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Yeah, that that engineer guy should have been waiting in that elevator for like a day. Alright then. I'm just going to do some r routine checkups here real quick. Be right back. Alright, let's head up. Oh, hey. Welcome back. That... that sure took you a while, huh? Oh, shoot. You've been waiting the whole time? And holding the door open? Well, uh... I don't want to be rude. I'm sorry. I should have told you to go on ahead. <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, wait, that's kind of... that's kind of suspicious. Sure is taking a while. Mm -hmm. oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally God themselves. This is awkward. Hmm. Oh, maybe uh, we can chat to pass the time then. You heard me? I mean, sure. Alright, Arpai, should I... <laughs> no. Uh, let's... He's suspicious. I really don't want to know about him. Let's just play a joke. Uh. Uh. Oops. <laughs> well, there goes out some character development. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh, Nico. Right, see you around, kid. I gotta run now. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Arpai? People are counting on, on us. We gotta go find the library key. Can I go back up? Oh, wait, what? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, 
Okay. This is strange. Hey, city robot. Uh. Uh. What? Hey, it's a hatter. <sighs> you alright? Ah, uh, the messiah. Perhaps this is a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Uh, honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I think... I think we should listen to RPI. After all, RPI helped me get this far. I will take your faith for an answer, then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. It means that he thinks that you're in... You're not making this choice for yourself. Why, why are we following him? Screw that. Uh, there's more fucking... Themed people here. Great. Oh, hey there. You have a lot of fish. Yeah, I'm worried about them, you know? Oh? I've heard something about how the square particle stuff... I heard something about how the square particle stuff just look no, just took out the major pipeline. I guess I should take advantage of the running water while I still can. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. So, why are there people that, that have themed helmets? Why, why was there a clock man and a... What the hell? Oh, it's a... It's a... It's a paper boy robot. Evening news, evening news! You are here to purchase a copy? No. Newspapers are for grown-ups. Grown-ups? Yeah. What does that mean? The means people who aren't kids. Kids? Er, aren't you a kid? I am a robot. Right. These papers aren't for kids? What? Have you... Have you ever... Oh, uh, you said something... Uh, which is me. Hello, Messiah. Oh, uh, hi. Haven't you ever heard of, uh... Tunes? Nico? Again, you're not from sweet old America like I am. It's locked from the inside. Hey, robot. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Oh, thank you. It's fuzzy here, man. When the world ends, would it be a better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. I'm having to use rather a lot, which is kind of a plain word, but hey. Why does the layout of this place look oddly suggestive? This is where my plot toll tells me to go. There's a whole bunch of fuzzy people here. Pile of books on the ground. Yep, uh, uh, yeah. Migo. The author's books uh, cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Haha, I told you, episode one, author is going to be an important person. Quite a, quite a renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city uh, is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have left to remember the rest of the world by. I was so terrible. <clears throat> Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. That's such a weird phrasing. Ah. Nerd. This computer. It's currently off. Like, that's gonna... Like, that's not gonna come back. You're blocking my way. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Looks like a little girl. 
I had to look closer. Let's see. This area is mostly historical accounts. The reference station is downstairs, and, uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. Uh, that's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author, then? No. Oh, uh, that's good. Er, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volu volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you, uh, you'd think he would at least show up once in a while, but he doesn't. Yeah, it's he seems kind of reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. I'm trying to say he's shy? I mean, I don't think many people have ever seen him in person. Or, you know, know, like, know what he looks like. Everyone's heard of him, though. The through secondhand accounts, though. Oh, but he did reply to my letter that one time. I got it framed immediately. Creepy. Nice. <laughs> Alright, you strange man. What? Uh, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There are books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. <sighs> Alright then. The author is so cool! I heard he could travel all over the world with a flying machine! That's how he gathers material for his books! Wow! That means the author is that one guy who talked to the bird guys. You know, I've tried looking for the flying machine with my binoculars for ages! Never saw a thing, though! Plants. There's a librarian. Ink bottle. Complete with a quill! Brings back memories, doesn't it, Arpai? Define memories. Uh, um... What are you doing to that book? Don't worry. These are my own books that I wrote. I pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Uh, how come? Cause otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author? I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is com is just gonna write about the same thing, then everyone else will love it. And nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm not hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's it's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me the cat or call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And Mausers, the German pistol, what? I I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, Kitto. Well, I think I changed the la the le the I think I changed at least half a book's worth of content. And even then, it's still far too similar. Looks like I'll just have to accept my fate. Well, I guess being called a cat isn't being, being called a cat isn't that bad at all, all that bad, but as long as people don't assume you eat mice. Alright, Nico, you lost one favorite point from me. I, I can now kind of hate you. Kind of, though. It's a mug man, a mug boy. There's a... It looks like a... That's like a, The guy in the top left looks like a Nico and TV man did like a fusion dance or some shit. The author's latest books are really something, yeah. Oh, this is probably a chick. 
The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh, they're a big... Combi... Com... There are three big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Oh, yeah, there are books lying around. A book with a black clover on the ground! The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphorus. I'll just let you guys read it. 38, 39... of new ecological niches in a post-sun world. What did I have to study about again? The, uh... The author publishes books at a highly accelerated and almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there's a large amount of material that he has written and but not published yet. One cannot help but to wonder where he can get so much done so in so little time. Did the calculations and numbers simply do not add up? I did the calculations and numbers and simply do not add up. Alright, you can figure a few things, boy and or girl. Maybe he can stop time. No such mechanism exists in How do you know that? Is that actually possible in your home to- Wait, wait a second. Are you sansing? Oh no. Nah, nah. I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. You were sansing, bad girl or boy. <laughs> bad androgynous person. You're going through the page pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh. Yeah, the author doesn't only write books. He also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books only out of pictures. Uh, neat. God, part of me really hates this. <laughs> nerd. Excuse me. Y oh, great. You have a face. <clears throat> oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. I need to do my robot voice. <clears throat> uh, when I when I first entered the city, I saw a bit. No, a big robot told me to look for the library on the surface. This is the same library, uh, right? Affirmative. Oh goody! Oh goody! Well, we're here. What do we have to do now? The big robot said there'd uh, be clues here. Yeah, clues. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Oh, it's a George female. Okay. Hey, yo, George. Pick up, bruh. Where you at, George? Usually the fourth ring goes and then cuts off. She is not picking up. Is she not there? She is here. She's in the archival room upstairs. When she's concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Uh, okay. Can I go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. 
Oh, the head librarian. That is George, right? George? I, I, I don't know. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my I can't feel my limbs. Ah. Uh, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Uh <laughs> Of course, the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. There's a also oh yeah, I didn't mention there's a couple of chances of why the author could release a whole bunch of books in number one time. Yeah, I'm just gonna say number one, it's a robot. Number two, it has ghost writers or other people write for him. Or number three, he found books from other worlds or old world books that have already been written and republishes them as himself. Why am I contemplating this? Also, there's a fourth possibility that he is just, like, literally writer Jesus and does it all himself. <sighs> Unauthorized ent entry. Library card. Quar Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card. Yeah, ditto. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ditto. She's not picking up. I figured. Are you sure I, you can't just uh, let me through? Letting you through would... <sighs> against programming. Uh, what? What? Even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been... Told. Okay. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Ha, uh, yep, still scared of ladders. Reshelving in progress. Alright, why are we walking in a suspicious alleyway? Arpai, did you see what happened? Yeah, I did. It was a fox. My vision went blank for a second. Then, I saw something. Like a really short dream. Wonder what was that about? Uh, that's a sign to stay away from. There's a trash bin. You mean garbage can, don't you? It's full of trash. Gross. Ditto. Ditto. Mm. It's a faded flyer. Ditto. Let's go out here. It's strangely warm in this room. Voice. Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are normal people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your hat shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You're still welcome here. I'll protect the lost people as well. Thanks, uh, but I'm not lost, though. Yes, you are lost. I've got our pie to guide me. I see. Why do I sound like the cookie monster? It's warm here. Yeah, this was my original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, it's the nice purpose. Uh, yawn. You look tired. Do you wish 
much to rest. I can't sleep now. Our pie and I got stuff to do. I see. So I'll go to you for rest, I guess. Ugh, that cat sounded really creepy. So, where did you find all your cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here for now. Ah. Well, it's uh, good you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other area stationed all by themselves. I felt kind of bad. With robots, it's alright. We are not like people. We are typically unable to feel... <clears throat> we are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, uh, you talk less like a robot than most robots that I... Well, let me guess, he's tame. Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley. But there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. You've been here for a while. Are you sure you do not wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for offering, though. What the hell? A curious marking lies on the wall. It looks like a ram. Plastic discs are here. Looks like they're supposed to go in something? What? Wait, our pie, are we really gonna take these with- Whoa, that's a huge thing. But they look so heavy. Alright. They're actually pretty light. Thick lens. Convex lens. Concave lens. Try a photo of someone. Big books. Ah, oh, they're dictionaries. Some of the words are underlined. Most of the words are underlined. Somebody learning to speak English, and there's a bookie here with a clover. It's a big book. The title says, Understanding Robots. You're not gonna read it? Okay. Uh, bed, blanket, yeah. Let's see, man. Rusty metal garbage can. There's some broken glass in here. Cup man. Hey, kid. Want some dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only the minimal amount of industrial byproducts. I'll pass. Hey, kid. Want some dumplings? Yes. Ditto. This smells kind of nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Serious headed man? Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just, uh, standing. I guess we should take a photo because we gotta get that, uh, I see, okay. What do you mean curved inward? Let's put you in here, why not? 